we've got the back trees taken out yesterday and uh, I'm doing a bit of a exercise workout by putting some soil into here before we fill it up with vegetables. Okay, Anne's workout 101. Alternating hands, so it's right hand there and go for a run. Okay, so this is what they scrapped up yesterday. We've got rid of the trees that are being grown out today, and we're going to put a garden bed along here and here. And I'm just using this pile of dirt as a workout because uh, we don't want to waste all of that. We can fill the thing up more. But we did have a bit of an oops yesterday, and uh, unfortunately, one of the trees got caught by the wind and went over that away. So that's being seen to at the moment. Yeah. Oh, it, it's these, a cross. These, <laughs> these are the best ones, these yellow ones, I reckon. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> so this is breakfast. Um, yeah. Yellow passion fruit. Right, Ron. So the tree loppers are here now to cut up the tree and take it out of this poor guy's yard. She's a bit heavy and it's made mangulated the shed. Sure did. It's like being through a cyclone, isn't it? Yeah. But soon this is gonna look beautiful. So this is the before. the day after got rid of the um, the workers for now we've taken um, some edging out of here which was concrete and we're going to put a new edging in there hey it's filled up my beds more so all we need to do now is get the soil in there and then we can start planting you can see all the tracks from the tractor so he's basically cleared the backyard There's even cleared behind the shed. And what we're going to do behind here is where I'm going to um, grow my seedlings, put a bit of a shade cloth under here where the seedlings can be growing. And along the fence line, we're going to have sleepers and we're going to have the vegetables in there. And I'm going to have two rows of um, fruit trees going down the middle of the garden and then just grass in between. So yeah, so far so good. Uh, we've taken the tree off next door's shed. So everything's taking shape. And these beds are nearly ready to go. So hopefully these plants here can find a home as well. So when the soil comes, these will be filled. So you start growing all the lettuces and the kale and the such like. So these are the trees I've got at the moment. They're especially sent to me. So I've got a, it's actually got flowers on it. That's a dwarf um, lemon. Or a dwarf aceola cherry. Is that one? And I've just got this dwarf the lens right orange the lens to yeah orange that's sort of in with the in with the sage at the moment so there she is nice healthy plants and they're from a place if you're in australia they're from daly's nursery so i'll take the sage away it's feeling better and hopefully we can get them in the ground soon
So here's where we are at. They've basically been here for two days in the gardens. So we've now already filled up the um, garden beds near the house. The framing's up right at the back and they're just filling it. So they've got to fill some more in here today. And they filled all the way up to here. Looking fabulous. So we're going to put some concrete at the end of here to finish that off. I've got to finish the weeding here. You can see up the top there it's all weeded and then I'll clean up this path. And that's going to be nice in summer. So here she is. Beautiful. And of course we're going to concrete behind the shed and then we can clean up the yard and get the fruit trees in.